Yo, what's going on, lights here? And I slept way too late this morning, so I wanna I wanna talk about the live stream and the new multiplayer maps coming to DLC to Eclipse for Black Ops 3. Now, for those of you who missed the live stream also, or just want to talk about the maps, we're gonna do that right now. Now, first thing I want to note is that there are no new weapons. I'm so disappointed. Maybe DLC 3 and 4 will have weapons, but maybe I was just kind of hopeful, wishing that there would be a season pass gun or two coming, but not this time around. Uh, that's okay, though, because these maps seem pretty sweet. Now, when we saw DLC 1, I wasn't too hyped for most of the maps. I thought Rise was going to be, you know, a pretty competitive and fun map, which it is. And I thought Splash was going to be a really fun map, and it kind of is, but I am not a fan of it. Now... This time around, these maps look pretty freaking cool, and I know I say that every time, but at least I'm honest when I say some maps I'm hyped for and some I'm not. So, first map we're going to be talking about is going to be called Spire. Spire takes place in multiplayer combat to a futuristic suborbital airport, so pretty much we're going to an airport in the sky. Uh, set high in the clouds, multiple levels of open areas promote intense mid-range combat, so assault rifles and snipers and LMGs, mid-range combat around clean, high-tech civilian environment. You see, this kind, of, this kind of sounds pretty cool because I've always been a fan of civilian areas, whether it be city blocks, neighborhoods, or anything like that, so it's pretty cool. Watch your step because one wrong move could send you plummeting back through the stratosphere. So, I don't know what to think about this, which makes me feel like if you go out of bounds, you might, like, I don't I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to wait and see for this. But next one is Rift. Head to the core of the harsh, futuristic military complex set high above an active caldera. And if you don't know what that is, that is a volcano. Volcano means fire and lava. Now, if there was one DLC map I liked in BO2, it was, ma was it Magma? Was it called? It was set in the volcano. Now that map, I was hoping, like as time would come, you know how in um, what was it, Hydro, or or Aqua, or whatever the the map was in the first DLC pack, that the the water would come up and flood. In Magma, I wish the lava would come up and kind of make the map tighter, close quarters. But that didn't happen. So I, it would be cool to see something like that. But Rift is over a volcano, and it's a military complex. And it, it sounds really cool. And it says outplay enemies as you traverse the suspended rail system. So I'm pretty excited for that map. Rift is probably one of my favorite maps out of this to look forward to. Not favorite maps, but look forward to maps. Now this one is pretty cool too. This one's called Knockout and it's housed in a traditional Shaolin temple with a retro twist. Knockout sets the stage for a bloody kung fu tournament. This mid-sized map showcases a sharp contrast between mid-range engagements and traditional exterior architecture at the tight close quarters of an electric 1970s style interior. This sounds pretty cool. So this is a futuristic Shaolin temple with retro 1970s style and I don't know, it sounds really, really cool. I've always been interested in the Asian subculture and like Shaolin culture and stuff like that. So this is going to be interesting to play and it looks like a beautiful map from the screenshots and I can't wait to play this map. Now Verge is our remade map and it's a World at War map called Banzai. Now Banzai had like a big long rope bridge over like a canyon of waterfalls in the background. And to be honest, it wasn't one of my favorite maps. I was expecting or hoping for at least for Asylum because I feel like Asylum would have been really cool. Or Nightfire, a nighttime map in Black Ops 3. But, you know, Banzai can work. I feel like it was a easy map because of the long, tall walls that would have been very complimentary to the, the movement system of Black Ops 3. But, I mean, hey, look, we can't complain. If the map plays fun, then I think it would be alright. Now, this map has a fun kind of cartoon western shooter kind of feel to it. And I think it was Ryan who said it looked kind of like a Borderlands theme, which I can kind of relate to that. 
and by all means that's that's fine by me if the map plays well then hey i mean it's something to look forward to so now we have zombies we have zetsubo noshima this is going to be a i think it translates to island of despair we don't know anything about the boss we don't know anything about wonder weapons or anything like that besides stuff that's leaked that i haven't been avoiding and i, I this cutscene, this intro cutscene is pretty sick i mean pretty much they call out takio for being a traitor to the emperor and he says i have always you know put emperor first and he killed them all and the boat blew up because they caught on fire and then they jumped off and now this has got me pretty hyped i'm excited to see a gameplay trailer and getting into some action and i can't wait to see what they do because i don't know man it's, it's just super hype so let me know what you're looking forward to most in this dlc are you getting the dlc are you done with dlc you don't want it let me know in the comments below let's start some conversation and until next time guys make sure you check my social media links in the description below make sure you follow up with my team naive we're going to be posting some hot content over there pretty soon and if you're not subscribed already make sure you do so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one have a great day